This is Alamodorius, and I'm taking out my Congo. Another interesting match where... Well, we hold the battleship advantage, and this time they do not have a carrier. Cruisers are fairly even. They have one tier 5 destroyer. Matchmaking hasn't been doing so good lately. But anyway, regardless. Last match I was in, uh, our my side of the map did okay. Uh, the other side of the map didn't. <laughs> I think it might have been because three, one, two, three, three to five of our battleships were uh, over on my side, and I don't want HE shells on. Uh, and the other side, the other side's battleships were, I think, all over on that end of the map. Well, yeah, it was, it was pretty, it was a bloodbath on that side. But I did well, I sunk a ship and I got, and uh, almost decim completely... Oh, I shouldn't say decimate, because that's the wrong word. It almost completely destroyed a Kawachi in two... Yeah, two volleys. Going with the Phoenix here. Start slowing speed to three quarter. Because with my luck. Hmm. Mm, no, he's. He's way too far out for any sort of accuracy. I'm not gonna start opening fire. Oh, Clemson. Uh, I think... Yeah. Definitely a better idea to get myself turned around and going back the other way. Turning guns. Beautiful ship, the Congo. Can't turn worth crap. <laughs> I think 770 meter turn radius. That's just brutal. See, the one thing about, about the Congo and its turn time is that its guns are all usually fairly close to being on the side you want them to if you start turning them at the, roughly the same time as you start your turn. A little bit beforehand is all, also good. Oh my, this is going to be a mistake. But, you know what? I always overestimate or underestimate with cruisers. See? I have him turn turn away anyway. Shoot. Wish that Wyoming was in range. Well, those might come down on him where he was slow at first. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna get some hits on this one. Ah, uh, one hit. Better than none. That's a phoenix. Ooh, that'd be awesome if those hit. Looks like they're good. And straddled. Of course. <laughs> oh, people people that say there's no RNG. 
Northern RNG doesn't have a huge factor. Yeah, okay, the first time I fired a cruiser, I missed. Whoopee, that was on me. But that right there was on RNG. Now, Congos are a difficult one to judge just because they move so bloody fast. But I think I got her. See, look at that. Splash down all around it, except for one. Time to start making plans here. I think I'll get my guns turned and then come around this island. Oh, shells look good too. Three hits. See, aimed the same way as last time. Three shell hits versus one. Although I don't know if I did any damage. If I did, it wasn't it wasn't a lot. So I'm going to zonk out of range here, and I am going to use my seaplane once I get in behind this island. So far, so good. See, right now I'm doing what one particular player insisted uh, in the previous Congo video I put up that I do, which is hang well far back and use my superior range. As you just saw, uh, RNG, uh, well, first bombardment got one shell hit on the Congo, second bombardment got uh, three, hit, with three hits. Same, same exact aiming. There's Wyoming. Where's Congo? Way over there. Okay. Wyoming's the better target. Let's see how we do here. Oh, these look good. Nah, I think overshot a little. Oh, no. Well, one hit. Very little in the way of damage, if any. I gotta start New York taking on two Kawachis there. Let's follow the shells in again, shall we? That's kind of fun. Yeah, see how the shells are moving in the air there? They don't stay on a static course. RNG is very much in play here. Another hit. I don't know if I actually did any damage. Nah, New York's taking care of his own on the, against that Kawachi. Gotta watch now that I don't prematurely fire because he was turning. Two hits. Try to help out the New York there. He was turned away from that Kawachi. Time to start paying attention. Leave my friend alone. And splash down around. Two hits on target. I don't know why New York's running away from this guy. She's sailing closer. Uh, slight misjudgment on my part. But still, shot straddled his bow. There's splashes on all sides of it. Shoot. 
New York, what are you doing? Trying to keep... Trying to do some sideways sailing here, trying to... Come on, New York, don't get killed by that guy. Oh, my... New York, victory is not guaranteed. Why did you do that? So, three hit effort. They have a Kuma and a Phoenix left alive. Oh, Kawachi. We have a Murmansk and an Izukaze and me. I am that Congo, of course. He's going slow. Probably gonna mostly hit the mountain on this one, but worth a try. Made over the mountain. Ah, over. Uh, looks like he was increasing speed. Come on, Isoka. Yeah, that's why, because he knew Isokaze was there. Good tactic, though, for uh, for battleships to do when there's an unknown destroyer in the area, is to keep raising and lowering your speed. Gonna miss again, I think. Oh, no, some of these might be on. One of them. And again, straddled around him. Phoenix and Kuma. Torpedoes, torpedoes, torpedoes. Especially from the Kuma. Okay, he's steaming full speed now. Four hits, nice and solid. No citadel penetrations, but I'll take what I can get. Romansk is trying to come down to help. Huh. Congo's actually outside. Oh. Start paying attention to the Kuma, or the Phoenix, rather. Gotta watch now, because that's no doubt got shells in coming from. Ah, oh, and as you can see, he straddled him. Kuma. Good job, Isokaze. Or was it? I don't know, I couldn't tell. I think I might overlap. it. Good solid hit. Congo's trying to get away. I gotta try to make sure that Isokaze survives. I think it might have been the Mermax that got him. Five minutes left in the match. Oh, don't. Damn. This 
slowing down there, bud. Ah. Oh. Kawachi is trying to engage Phoenix. He's turning. Shoot. Overestimated. Got shots coming in from the Congo. This guy is really good with his phoenix. Waving back and forth. Damn, really good with his phoenix. Our team depends upon you. <laughs> Enemy cruiser destroyed. Oh, this is interesting. This is the first time I've been in the single ship situation where I've actually... Stood, actually stood a chance of winning. I remember back in closed beta in my... Uh, Minekaze. It was, was, no, it was my Fubuki. Get me that time.
Problem solved, sir. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I had him. I had him cold. Ah. Uh. 42 shells, one ship down, one, uh, one citadel hit only, but what a fight at the end. What a fight. I love moments like that. Um, that right there was basically, uh, I know I mentioned this before, back in closed beta, um, my Nagato versus a uh, Yamato. That was it right there, and I... Well, we, it was a draw because we both sunk in that case. But Nagato tier 7 versus Yamato tier 10. <laughs> what a fight. So to that uh, Congo player, who we shall have a look whose name. Viking 52. I do recall, I, I do recall seeing you in quite a few games. Uh, well done. That was, that was a fun brawl at the end. It's just too bad we... Uh, couldn't finish it. Well, I had you, though. <laughs> anyway, this has been Alamandorius having a thoroughly good time in my Congo.